So there are icons in Brisbane that are completely and utterly unknown. And this is one. This bottle tree in Anzac Park, Tawong, was placed here in 1989-90. It was placed here to support the Olympic bid that Brisbane made to re-secure the right to bid for the 96 Olympics. A bid that we lost to Melbourne. And in Anzac Park, it was seen as a very important partner to it was seen as a very important partner to the work that was going on in the Brisbane Botanic Gardens specifically in relation to the relocated World Expo 88 Japanese Gardens and this poor bottle tree was one of two that were relocated from a housing development in Wynnum. Its partner in crime went into Anzac Square, which was also going through some refurbishment for the bid. And this particular bottle tree, when you think about the fact that it is sitting in the world's first Anzac Park. When you think about the fact that this particular park was thought to be so significant at the time that it went through a major refurbishment with zip lines and it quite extraordinary in their day, playgrounds, and it's just been forgotten. It is uh, quite an interesting story and it's the reason why we should celebrate icons like the Stefan Racket and make sure they're not forgotten. So the key question is, at Fru Park here, is the Stefan Racket an iconic symbol of tennis? Does it represent Roy Emerson, Wendy Turnbull, Bay Muller and Sheed Deck. I think it does. I think it is very iconic.